Imagine walking into a factory where a brand new, state-of-the-art, high-speed train rolls out in just 12 hours. Not days, not weeks, just 12 hours. And here's the kicker. Only 30 workers are needed to assemble the entire train. Sounds impossible, right? This isn't science fiction or a futuristic fantasy. This is happening right now in China, where high-speed rail manufacturing has reached a level of speed and efficiency that the rest of the world can only stare at in disbelief. We're talking about a system where precision robotics, advanced data coordination, and highly skilled engineers work in perfect harmony to create trains that can reach speeds of over 350 kilometers per hour. But how did China, a country that just 25 years ago lagged far behind in transportation technology, rise to become the global leader in high-speed rail? How did it turn itself into a nation that not only builds trains faster than anyone else, but also exports this cutting-edge technology worldwide? Today, we're going to take a journey inside China's high-speed rail revolution. From the factory floors where the trains are born in a single day, to the sprawling networks connecting millions of people, and even to the countries around the world that are now benefiting from China's technological leap. By the end of this video, you'll see why the world is watching China's trains in awe, and why no one can ignore its astonishing rise. High-speed rail isn't just about moving from point A to point B faster. It's a complete transformation of how people and economies connect. Imagine traveling 500 kilometers in just two hours, sipping coffee while gliding smoothly across the countryside at speeds that once belonged only to airplanes. That's the modern promise of high-speed rail comfort, speed, and efficiency, all rolled into one. Across Europe, Southeast Asia, and parts of Asia, high-speed rail has become a lifeline connecting major cities, boosting trade, tourism, and daily commuting. Countries like France, Japan, and Germany have long relied on high-speed trains to link cities efficiently, while Southeast Asian nations are rapidly expanding their networks to catch up with modern standards. But here's the twist. In this global race for high-speed rail supremacy, China has surged ahead at an eye-catching pace. While other nations painstakingly build a few trains or lines each year, China is rewriting the rulebook with speed, scale, and innovation that's hard to match. And that brings us to the real story, how a country that was once far behind in infrastructure suddenly became the leader in one of the most complex and advanced technologies of the modern era. Now let's rewind the clock about 25 years. Back then, China's transportation system was a world apart from the sleek, high-speed trains we see today. Roads were often congested, railways were outdated, and long-distance travel could take days. For a country with over 1.4 billion people, this wasn't just inconvenient. It was a serious challenge for economic growth, mobility, and connecting communities. Cities lacked modern infrastructure, and much of the country's interior was difficult to reach quickly. Foreign visitors often left with the impression that China was technologically behind, especially when compared to nations like Japan or Germany, which were already pioneers in high-speed rail. But fast forward to today, and the contrast is striking. Skyscrapers dominate city skylines, urban centers are clean and well-organized, and cutting-edge technology hums behind the scenes of daily life. China's transformation didn't happen by accident. It was the result of deliberate planning, massive investment, and a national determination to modernize. This story of change isn't just about trains. It's about ambition, vision, and a willingness to leap from being a follower to becoming a global frontrunner. And the backbone of that transformation? a bold high-speed rail strategy that would soon connect every corner of the nation. China's rise in high-speed rail didn't happen by luck. It was guided by a grand, carefully planned vision. In the early 2000s, the government laid out the four verticals and four horizontals framework, four north-south and four east-west high-speed rail corridors designed to link major cities and economic hubs. Think of it as the skeleton of a vast living network that would eventually weave the entire country together. But China didn't stop there. As demand grew and technology advanced, the plan evolved into the eight verticals and eight horizontals, doubling the network's reach and creating one of the most ambitious transportation infrastructures in the world. This expansion doesn't just connect cities, it connects economies, cultures, and people, turning travel into an effortless high-speed experience. To put it into perspective, imagine a city like Shanghai connected to Beijing, Guangzhou, and even distant provincial capitals with trains that move faster than cars or planes over short distances. The audacity of this plan is staggering. It's a national backbone of transportation, 
but also a signal to the world that China isn't just participating in modern rail development, it's setting the pace. This vision set the stage for the next phase, building the network at unprecedented scale and speed, a story defined by staggering numbers and achievements that would shock the world. When it comes to sheer scale, China's high-speed rail network is nothing short of astonishing. By the end of 2023, the country had built 159,000 kilometers of railway, with over 45,000 kilometers dedicated to high-speed rail alone, more than the rest of the world combined. To put that into perspective, that's like circling the Earth nearly four times with tracks and trains zipping along at speeds that make long-distance car trips feel like crawling. This isn't just about length. The operational efficiency, speed, and reliability of these lines make China a global leader in rail transport. Millions of passengers ride high-speed trains every day, traveling comfortably and safely between major cities that, a generation ago, were difficult to reach in a single day. No other country even comes close. Japan, France, and Germany may have pioneered high-speed rail, but the scale of China's network and the rapid pace of its expansion have set a new benchmark. And this is just the beginning. The network continues to grow, connecting more cities, reducing travel times, and demonstrating China's unmatched capacity for infrastructure development. This incredible expansion naturally leads us to the next chapter, how China is taking its high-speed rail beyond its borders, making its presence felt on the global stage. China's high-speed rail success isn't confined within its borders. It's going global. Through the Belt and Road Initiative, the country is exporting not just trains, but also the technology, expertise, and infrastructure needed to build modern rail networks around the world. From Southeast Asia to the Middle East, and even parts of Europe, China is helping countries leapfrog decades of development. For instance, Thailand and Indonesia are working with China to build high-speed lines that connect major cities in ways that were previously unimaginable. Meanwhile, in Europe, Chinese companies are collaborating on rail projects that expand transport options while bringing advanced technology to new markets. This global push isn't just about business, it's about influence. By providing reliable, fast, and technologically advanced rail systems, China is shaping the future of transportation worldwide. In effect, the country isn't just participating in the global market. It's setting the standard, proving that its high-speed rail model can compete with, and often outperform, traditional rail powers. And behind this global leadership is a single powerhouse company driving innovation and efficiency on an unprecedented scale. At the heart of China's high-speed rail revolution is CRRC, the state-owned giant that has become the backbone of the country's rail industry. Established in 2000, CRRC has grown rapidly to dominate both domestic and international markets. Today, 70% of China's high-speed trains are produced by this single company, and it has formed partnerships in over 100 countries and regions. CRRC isn't just a manufacturer, it's an innovation engine. Its mass production system for high-speed trains is the largest in the world, allowing China to build trains faster, more efficiently, and at a scale no other country can match. The company invests heavily in research and development, automation, and smart manufacturing techniques, ensuring that every train rolling off its assembly line meets the highest standards of safety and performance. But here's the question that amazes experts worldwide. How does CRRC manage to assemble a modern high-speed train so quickly, using far fewer workers, than traditional factories? The answer lies in advanced automation, precision engineering, and seamless coordination, a combination that turns a complex, massive process into a highly efficient operation. Now let's step inside a CRRC factory and witness the magic firsthand. Imagine 550,000 individual parts coming together to form a sleek, high-speed train capable of traveling over 350 kilometers per hour. Normally, assembling something this complex would take hundreds of workers in several weeks. But here, it only takes 30 workers in 12 hours. How is this possible? The secret lies in automation and precise coordination. Every stage of assembly is guided by data-driven systems and executed by intelligent robotic arms that follow strict computer programs. These machines weld, lift, and fit components with a level of accuracy humans alone couldn't achieve. Meanwhile, the 30 workers monitor, manage, and ensure that everything is perfectly synchronized. 
This process isn't just fast, it's revolutionary. Even Japan, the birthplace of high-speed rail, has expressed amazement at China's efficiency. While Japanese factories require hundreds of workers and nearly a month to assemble a single train, China's approach combines speed, accuracy, and automation on a scale previously thought impossible. The result? Trains that aren't just fast on the tracks, they're fast off the assembly line, too. And this efficiency isn't just a technical marvel. It has real-world implications for cities, commuters, and even countries around the globe. China's high-speed rail achievements aren't confined to its borders. They're reshaping transportation around the world. Consider Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. In 2015, CRRC delivered 90 subway vehicles for Metro Line 4, providing critical transportation support for the Olympic Games. This wasn't just about supplying trains. It was about modernizing an entire city's transit system in time for one of the world's biggest events. The story continues in the United States. In 2016, the Chicago Transit Authority awarded CRRC a contract to manufacture 846 subway cars, establishing a local factory to meet production demands. This move was groundbreaking. A Chinese rail manufacturer producing advanced transit vehicles on American soil, showing the global reach and reliability of China's technology. But these examples are only the tip of the iceberg. Across Southeast Asia, Europe, and the Middle East, China is helping countries develop high-speed rail networks that shorten travel times, reduce traffic congestion, and promote economic growth. In Indonesia, the Jakarta-Bandung high-speed rail line cuts travel time from over three hours by car to just 40 minutes by train. In Thailand, China is building lines that connect Bangkok to neighboring provinces, boosting commerce and tourism. What's remarkable is that these projects aren't just about infrastructure. They're about exporting a model of efficiency, technology, and precision that many countries cannot produce on their own. CRRC is proving that it can meet the world's highest standards, from manufacturing to operational reliability, and its trains are becoming symbols of China's global influence. In short, China's high-speed rail isn't just connecting Chinese cities, it's connecting the world, reshaping transportation in ways that were unimaginable just a decade ago. In October 2020, the world got a first-hand look at China's high-speed rail miracle. Over 52 international media outlets, including the BBC and major newspapers from Europe, Asia, and the Americas, visited CRRC's production facilities to see the manufacturing process in action. What they witnessed was astonishing. Reporters toured the assembly lines where modern high-speed trains were built in just 12 hours with only 30 workers. They observed intelligent robotic arms, data-driven workflows, and a level of precision that seemed almost futuristic. Every step, from welding to installing critical components, was tightly coordinated, showing a blend of human oversight and machine accuracy. The reaction was unanimous, shock and admiration. Journalists who had long associated high-speed rail with Japan or Europe were forced to acknowledge that China had leapfrogged into global leadership. One observer noted that the scale, speed, and sophistication of CRRC's operations were unlike anything they had seen before, redefining the standards for train manufacturing worldwide. This visit didn't just impress the media. It sent a clear signal to the world. China's high-speed rail technology isn't just fast on the tracks. It's a technological and manufacturing marvel that other nations are now striving to understand and replicate. China's high-speed rail achievements have fundamentally changed the global playing field. Countries like Japan, Germany, and France once set the standard for train manufacturing, relying on decades of experience, deep technical expertise, and highly skilled labor. In Japan, for instance, assembling a single Shinkansen train can take hundreds of workers and nearly a month, even with advanced automation. In Europe, similar projects demand extensive manual labor, complex coordination, and long lead times. Now China has entered the race not as a follower, but as a dominant frontrunner. With just 30 workers and 12 hours, CRRC can assemble a fully functional high-speed train, a speed and efficiency unmatched anywhere else. This isn't just a marginal improvement, it's a quantum leap in manufacturing capability. The impact is immediate and profound. Japan, which once exported its high-speed rail expertise to the world, now finds itself under unprecedented pressure to innovate faster. European companies, which dominated global markets for decades, are scrambling to adapt to the competition posed by China's scale, cost efficiency, and speed. 
This isn't just about speed or numbers. It's about strategic advantage. China's ability to build trains faster, cheaper, and at larger volumes gives it a global competitive edge, enabling it to not only dominate domestic transportation, but also shape international rail markets. In the global race for high-speed rail supremacy, China isn't just competing, it's setting the pace, leaving traditional leaders playing catch-up. The stakes of this race go beyond trains. They affect technology leadership, industrial standards, and national influence. And the story doesn't stop at manufacturing. It's deeply connected to the people who benefit from these networks every day. China's high-speed rail revolution isn't just a technical or industrial achievement. It's a societal transformation. Over 1.4 billion people now enjoy faster, safer, and more reliable transportation, making long-distance travel between cities effortless and efficient. What once took a full day by train or car can now be done in just a few hours, connecting families, boosting business, and enabling economic growth across regions. Beyond convenience, the network has reshaped the country's image. Many Western media outlets have long painted China as technologically backward or infrastructurally underdeveloped. But visiting modern Chinese cities tells a completely different story. Gleaming skyscrapers, clean streets, and high-tech transit systems dominate the landscape. High-speed rail is a tangible symbol of this transformation, showcasing China's ability to plan, innovate, and execute on a massive scale. The high-speed rail system also inspires national pride. It represents a generation-long effort to leapfrog global standards, demonstrating that China can lead in complex technology and large-scale engineering. For millions of everyday commuters, it's not just about faster trains. It's about opportunity, mobility, and a modern way of life. In essence, China's high-speed rail network has become more than infrastructure. It's a reflection of the nation's ambition, technological capabilities, and vision for the future. And as the network continues to expand and improve, it also strengthens China's influence on the world stage, proving that innovation can change a country and the world in remarkable ways. China's high-speed rail story is a remarkable journey. From a nation struggling with outdated infrastructure 25 years ago to a global leader in speed, technology, and efficiency today. In just over two decades, China has built the world's largest rail network, mastered mass production, and exported its trains and expertise across the globe. This transformation proves that with vision, planning, and determination, a country can leapfrog decades of development in record time. But the story of China's high-speed rail isn't just about trains. It's about shaping the future of transportation. It's about creating systems that, that connect people, economies, and countries in ways that were once unimaginable. From a commuter in Beijing to a traveler in Rio de Janeiro, millions are already experiencing the benefits of this revolution firsthand. If you found this journey through China's high-speed rail revolution fascinating, don't miss out on future updates. Subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, and stay tuned for more stories about technology, innovation, and the incredible ways the world is evolving. China's high-speed rail is more than steel on tracks. It's a symbol of vision, ingenuity, and the power of human ambition and the world is watching.